Hey YouTube, it's Jonathan, and today we are doing this makeup look right here. This is the look that Lily Collins wore to the Golden Globes the other day. Her makeup was done by Fiona Styles, who conveniently posted a list of every product that she used, so it was very easy for me to find products that I had that were identical, some products that I had that were similar, and to find a few dupes along the way. This is the picture that I was working off of. She is absolutely stunning. If you want to see a better picture of this, go ahead and Google Lily Collins Golden Globes 2017 because she is literally stunning. Her dress was everything and the makeup complemented it perfectly. I just, she's so beautiful. So if you're interested in seeing how I created this look, go ahead and keep watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Today I'm going to start by moisturizing my skin. I am using the Lancome Absolute Precious Cells Moisturizer SPF 15. This is quite a heavy moisturizer. It is the middle of winter and my skin really needs a little bit of hydration. This is also going to help the a foundation to smooth onto the skin and blend in really beautifully and not go on um, as like a layer on top of the skin. It's going to help it work into the skin much better. And then I'm going to do something really, really, really weird next, and that is curl my eyelashes. I'm not going to be using a waterproof mascara today, so I'm really going to curl my lashes now just to make sure they are set and going to hold their curl even without waterproof over top. All right, now I can go back to working on the skin. Today I'm using the Lancome Tonsil Ultra Foundation. This is the same foundation that Lily is wearing in the look. So I'm going to start with a couple pumps of that on the back of my hand. And I'm gonna blend it in, I think, with my fingertips first and then kind of make sure it's really, really blended with a brush. So all the products that were used on Lily in the look for the red carpet were Lancome, except for the brow pencil that she used. Um, and that's because I think she is one of the ambassadresses of the company. So I think that she's kind of contracted to wear their products, which works for me for this look because I really like their products and I have a lot of them. And it was really convenient because Fiona Styles, the artist um, that did her makeup that night, actually posted what exactly she was wearing on her Instagram. So I went to the counter and kind of tried on everything. I don't have everything that she wore. I'm actually going to be using drugstore things for my eyes and lips and cheeks. But it's very convenient that she posted all that stuff so I could go in and get exact dupes for the products. So I'm really taking my time to blend this foundation in because I want it to be very seamless to the skin. I don't want it to look like it's a bunch of makeup sitting on top. Lily looks like she has just perfect, beautiful skin in the picture. It doesn't really look super makeup-y, so that's what we're going for today. So that's a thin, even layer of foundation all over, and now I'm going to be using the Effacerns Concealer, again, the same concealer that she used for the actual look, and I'm going to apply that again with my fingertips and then blend it in with a brush. I love this foundation and this concealer because they're both super long wearing. The concealer doesn't crease, and it just keeps you looking flawless all day which I'm sure is why she chose them for a red carpet look. She didn't want to have to touch it up. I'm using a little on the brow bone, because I am going to be using pink on the lids, so I want the brow bone to be nice and clean looking. I'm using a little bit more of the concealer just to highlight down the center of my face where I want a little bit more brightness. Since I won't be using any bronzer or contour in this look, it is going to help to give more dimension to the skin in the end. Then I'm just going to use a little bit of loose powder. This is the Derma Blend Loose Powder, my absolute favorite. I am not going to be putting this all over my face. I wouldn't really be using this product in real life if I was going to wear this look out. But just because I'm on camera and I want to look extra perfect and put together, it is going to kind of just mattify any shine from the studio lighting. For color on my skin today, I'm going to be using a blush from e.l.f. This is Tickled Pink. The blush that she actually used is called A Plum, and it is a plum. Um, it's a little bit cooler in tone, a little bit more purpley, dusty rose. On me, that color doesn't work quite as well, because I have a little bit more yellow in my skin tone than Lily Collins does. So applying this to my cheeks in a large sweeping motion, this is going to be the only additional color on the skin. The way that the blush is applied in the photograph is structural, but it does come up on to the apple of the cheek as well to give that bright fresh look and skipping any contour and bronzer gives the skin just a light bright fresh appearance. Now I'm going to fix my brows. I am not going to even attempt to get the perfection that are Lily Collins eyebrows. I'm just going to fill in my brows how I normally do with my Lancome Sourceal Daphne pencil in the shade medium ash. If you want the Lily Collins look, you're going to want to try and pull your brows in a little bit further than they naturally go, unless 
you're blessed like Lily is. But obviously, if you don't have hairs growing there, it's gonna look really unnatural to pull them in too far, so just make sure you brush through and keep them looking as natural as possible. And believe it or not, we're almost done. We're actually gonna move on to eyes now. So when I was looking at the picture, I was so concerned as about what I was going to use for these eyes. It's this beautiful, dusty pink wash of color across her lid and up all the way through the crease. And I was having a look through my shadows and I just couldn't find exactly the shade. And then I saw that Fiona Styles had actually posted the list of products that she used and it is lip liner and blush on her eyes. That is what is giving that perfect, beautiful, dusty rose color. And bless you for thinking on your feet, Fiona Styles, because it is just simple and stunning. So on the eyes, she used a color called Natural Mauve. I don't have that exact pencil, but this one is from NYX. It's one of their slim lip liners, and it is in the shade Pale Pink, I believe. And it is a dusty mauve kind of color, so I'm going to apply that all the way across my lid and up into the crease. If you have sensitive eyes and you want to do this look for like an occasion, a special occasion or something, I would definitely try it out on a night where you're not going out first to make sure that using the lip products on your eyes isn't going to cause any irritation to you. I tried this last night and I didn't have any issue. So once you have that on, I'm just going to use my finger, tap over to make sure it's nice and smooth, and then use a second finger to blend out the edge. Repeat on the other eye. And when you're applying, you want to pull this out towards the side. If that doesn't suit your eye shape, don't worry. It's really about the shade, not the shape. And then I'm also going to be applying that underneath the lower lash line. Three quarters of the way along. So not all the way to the inner corner, but most of the way across the lower lash line. And then very simply over top of that, we're going to be applying the same blush that we used on our cheeks with a big fluffy brush. I'm going to use a hopefully sort of clean MAC 217 brush. So then to create a little bit of separation between the whites of my eyes and that pink eye makeup, um, because the pink can kind of look a little bit unflattering at this stage, I'm going to be using a creamy nude off-white eyeliner. This one is from Kiko, but I believe it's been discontinued, so I'll put something similar in the description box, like one of the NYX Wonder Pencils or something. You just want something very pale, but not quite white, and that just goes straight across the lower waterline. I'm also applying a little bit right to the inner corners, just because my eyes are a little bit closer set than Lily's. And now on to mascara. Today I'm going to be using Hypnos Drama from Lancome. I think she said in the picture that she used Hypnos mascara, which this is very similar to. This is just a little bit more thickening, so I will be combing it out if I get any clumps. And I think once the mascara goes on, it really kind of completes everything and just makes it look really classic and polished. And you want to make sure to get the lower lashes as well. And again, you can comb through if you get any clumps underneath as well. And the very last thing we're going to do is lips. I, I'm going to use a little bit of that pale pink liner. You're not going to end up seeing this in the end look, but it's going to create a nice guide for me to follow with my dark red lipstick. And then the lipstick that I'm using today is 691 Rich Ruby Matte from Maybelline. And this is an exact dupe for the lipstick that she's wearing, which is Lancome La Absolute Rouge in the shade Souvenir, which is also matte. The only real difference with this one is that it's not as hydrating on the lips. You know I like the La Absolute Rouge lipstick formula, but I couldn't spend $32 on a red lipstick to use in one video, so I picked this one up instead, which, again, is an exact dupe, so the color is identical. And once the lip is on, if you need a little bit more shape, um, you can use a little bit more of your foundation on a concealer brush and just kind of go around the edge to sharpen it up. And if you want to mattify the lipstick a little bit further, you can apply a little bit of your loose translucent powder over top just to take down any minimal shine that is left over from a matte lipstick. But this lipstick is very, very matte on its own. I don't think I need to put any powder over it. Plus, I'm going to wash it off in about five minutes. So I don't think the longevity is a problem for me. But that's the finished look. Super simple, super elegant, perfect for any special occasions this year. I think you could even wear this for a day time event too. It's just one pop of color on the lips. Everything else is very, very minimal. And that's everything. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment below if you have any questions about the 
products that I use today or if you have any celebrities you'd like me to recreate next, check out the description box to see a link for every product that I used in today's video, plus all my socials. I'm at John John Talks on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. Click right up here to see my most recent video and right down here to subscribe if you're not subscribed already, and I will see you all next time. Bye.